Novel coronavirus has no face. It can infect the healthy, the unhealthy, the young, the old, the rich, the poor, everyone. But thankfully, there are centers across the wiregrass that offer testing for those who may not be able to afford it otherwise. Ileana Capian joins us live from the newsroom with more information. Ileana, good evening. Good evening, Paige. With the rise in COVID-19 cases, many low-income families are asking where they can go to get tested without worrying about a financial hardship. There are testing centers that can help ease this financial stress and provide testing to those that are underinsured and who have no insurance at all. Just like a lot of our other programs with our family planning and our WIC, uh, certainly if, you, uh, if you're underinsured or if you don't have any insurance, uh, we would love to see you. Um, our clinics, uh, sometimes they do back up a little bit, but once you get your paperwork done, uh, the swab itself only takes a few minutes and you're on your way. The Houston County Department of Health does not charge any sort of co-payments for COVID testing, but they do ask for insurance. Uh, we do ask if you have it with you that you provide your uh, insurance card. That could be Medicare, Medicaid, Blue Cross, you know, any other card. And we do take that information. And if we're able to bill for the actual lab services, uh, we do do that. But we did not have a copay uh, for the individual. Kirkland says that billing the insurance helps with the reimbursement of lab supplies and the expense of materials it takes to run the swab. Kirkland also shared some other testing centers in the Wiregrass that offer low cost options. There's several walk in places around town, around Houston County. Uh, Sarah is another good option. Uh, there's a federally qualified health center, uh, Alabama Family uh, Clinics over on 52. Uh, many of our walk in places like All South and American Family Care, Prime Care, certainly call them if they. <clears throat> If they do require insurance, they may have a self-pay option as well uh, that they could work with someone if they were needing testing. Kirkland says that you should not let the inability to pay or lack of insurance stop you from getting tested, especially if you are showing two or more symptoms of COVID. For a full list of their testing locations and times, check out our website, dothanfirst.com, for a direct link to their schedule of testing. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Ileana. I know a lot of people in the Wiregrass, I'm sure, are looking for those kind of options, so thank you for getting them all in one spot. Of course. Thank you.